Well, we're on Lesson 6E, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about using alerts rather than open orders. Now, an open order, if you recall, is an order that just sits there waiting to be filled. All right? And it can be filled at any date, any time in the future after it's placed. And they're very dangerous. And let me show you why an open order can be real dangerous. Let's say that you were at this point in time and you were thinking about trading this and you said, gosh, look at this support down here. If this support is broken, I want to get, uh, uh, you know, go short this market. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just place a, a limit order right down here in case, uh, you know, the market ever gets down there. I just want to be filled and I want to go short if it ever gets down here. All right? Now that's a limit order. Now that means that order is just sitting out there and it's good till canceled. All right? And that's what I'm talking about, a good till canceled order. You don't want to uh, uh, put a good till canceled order out there. And it doesn't matter if it's a limit order or a stop order. Uh, just any good till canceled order. Uh, I don't use them. I don't recommend that you use them. Uh, they can be very dangerous. I'm about to show you why. So let's say that you place this order. And I want to make sure that I put it out here and said that it was good till canceled. Uh, GTC is good till canceled. All right? And so that order is just sitting here. So let's say you're uh, out on vacation and the price starts going down and uh, you're not around. And all of a sudden the price goes back up and it comes back down and, you know, you're up in, you know, the Rockies somewhere on vacation and all of a sudden your order gets filled and you're short the market. Now watch this. All right, so you're short the market. Your broker can't reach you. Uh, uh, you put a stop in to protect yourself. So let's go ahead and do that and say that you had an open stop order up here uh, to buy one back and we'll just put it in there so uh, all of a sudden you're short the market now maybe you even forgot that this open order was sitting out there you know you placed it three or four weeks back or a month ago and you forgot it well it's going to be filled whether you forget it or not because the broker doesn't forget it's sitting there and it's good to cancel and it's just sitting there waiting to be filled so all of a sudden you're on vacation and your order gets filled and you're short the market and then the market turns against you and jumps back up. Well, you're short the market. All right? And all of a sudden, you know, the price comes back up and it goes back up and it hits your stop. You're stopped out. You get back from vacation and you get a call from your broker and he tells you you just lost 687.50 on that uh, September. September wheat contract that you went short on and you say what September wheat contract what are you talking about and he reminds you that you placed a good till canceled order also called an open order never use those use a day order you know a good a good for a day only so if it doesn't get filled that day that order gets canceled all right please 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 watch using these open orders they can you know a good till canceled order they can just kill you. All right. So let's not dwell on that. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is buying support and selling resistance. Also, uh, some people will refer to things like that as scalping, where you're just going in and uh, trying to pick up a few dollars out of the market. And so we'll take a look at another chart here. In